Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing another episode of Dino Dan Dino Profiles, but today we are going to be covering Eoraptor. Something interesting about Eoraptor, unlike the other dinosaurs part of the grouping I have named, the Dino Dana Diverse Dinosaurs, Eoraptor appeared before the other dinosaurs on the Dino Dan website, more specifically the Dino Timeline slash Dino Scale, which it is one of the dinosaurs shown in the Triassic period. Its 2D design looks pretty nice, it having an orange color scheme with some brown striping, a yellow underbelly, and well, a greenish eye. Eoraptor's more um, noticeable appearance is when it actually appears in the series. In the last episode of Dino Dana, it has an extremely brief appearance where it is just a recolored copy with the feathers removed. And it's sporting a green color scheme with darker green striping and probably yellow or green eyes. Something interesting is on the TiVo um, app, you can actually kind of take a test to see what dinosaur you are. There are four options being Brontotherium, Tyrannosaurus, Proceratosaurus, or Eoraptor, where it is also shown here, though it is an odd choice for them to choose. It also appears in the Dino Dana Field Guide Volume 2, alongside the other dinosaurs appeared within the series. Eoraptors also appears in the Dino Dan, well, Dino Dan Dino Cam app, where it is in the Diverse Dinosaurs 3 pack alongside Nanukasaurus, Ozoraptor, Troodon, Cyanonithosaurus, Corythosaurus, Ungrunia, Prothratosaurus, Eoraptor, and Boasaurus, where it can be purchased for $2.99 or $0.99 cents on its own. With it has the um, actual model being slightly different, since I believe any species that has feathers they don't remove or add feathers onto them. It is still the copy with feathers, just with a different color scheme, with a gray underbelly and a purpley bluish hands and feet, which is interesting, and a yellow head, alongside kind of dark green stripes and darker green, um, extra like larger feathers on the body. And that is all for Eoraptor's appearances. And generally, it actually has appeared slightly more than most of the other dinosaurs. Though, to be fair, I believe this species actually has a chance of coming back, unlike some of the others, since its design does kind of look unique enough from the copy, and also just generally being one of the first dinosaurs, honestly, makes it pretty special. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dino Dan Dino... C well, not Dino Dan Dino Can. Dino Dan Dino Profiles. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.